What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be learning how to use the Instagram Graph API to search hashtags on Instagram. We can search for a hashtag with its name, and then with that name, we will get back an ID. With the hashtag ID, we can get the top posts and the most recent posts for the hashtag we are interested in. In this video, I'll be using the coding hashtag. I'm going to set up a website and get everything we can get back for the coding hashtag. First thing we're going to do is we're going to display the top post for the hashtag. For the top post for coding, here's the post that came back. We're going to get the image, the caption, and we can get everything else on that post. The ID, the media type, the media URL, and a link to that post, which will take us right to Instagram. The next endpoint, recent media endpoint, gives us back the most recent post that has been tagged with this hashtag. We get the same stuff back with media, the caption, the ID, the type, URL, and the link to the post. Down at the bottom of the page, we're going to dump out the raw data from each of the endpoints that we have hit in order to get all this information back. Here we have hit the endpoint to get information on our coding hashtag. Hitting this endpoint will give us the ID and the name back for the hashtag that we specified, and we get back our ID. The ID is required in order to query the top and the most recent endpoints. Before we start coding, if you guys haven't checked out my latest videos on the Instagram Graph API, Go to my YouTube channel, check them out. This video here is a continuation video from those other videos I have created for the Instagram Graph API. You can also download the code on GitHub at github.com slash jstolpe. Link in the description. Let's code. We're gonna head over to our file explorer, and the first thing we're gonna do is copy our script, comments and replies, the script from our last video, and we're gonna rename it to hashtags. And then we're going to open that up in Sublime Text. First thing I'm going to do in this file is I'm going to clear out everything except for the include defines and my make API call function. Now we have included our defines file, which contains things like our base URL for the Facebook Graph API endpoint. It has our access token, our user ID for Instagram, and our page ID. Right under the function, I'm going to start out by defining the hashtag that we are going to use for this video. Hashtag coding. The first endpoint we need to hit is the search hashtag endpoint so we can get the ID for our coding hashtag. To get the ID for a hashtag, we have to hit our endpoint ID underscore hashtag underscore search. Along with that, we're going to pass our user ID and we're going to query with the hashtag name that we want back. The field specifies what we want to get back for each hashtag. In this case, we want the ID and the name of the hashtag. I'll paste this in here too so we know our endpoint base URL, graph.facebook.com version 5.0. And that is defined in our defines.php file. So that's the format. Now we need to create the endpoint. Our endpoint is everything up till the question mark. So this is our endpoint. And then this will be our parameters that we pass along to that endpoint. Here's the parameters for our endpoint. We pass along our user ID, our Instagram account ID, which is in our defines file. We pass along the fields. We want to get the ID and the name back for the hashtag that we're searching for. The Q variable is the hashtag for this video. We're using coding. And the access token needed for all the API calls is also defined in our defines file. Now that we have our endpoint and our parameters set up, we can hit our function make API call. First is our search endpoint. This is a get request and our parameters for our search endpoint. So to verify that we got our results back and we hit the correct endpoint with the correct parameters, we're going to dump out our array on the page. Head over to our hashtags.php file and run that script. And we have gotten back our coding hashtag and Instagram has provided us with the ID for that hashtag. So I'm going to copy this ID, and right up here under hashtag, we're going to define hashtag ID. Now we can use this for the rest of our calls since that is what's required, the hashtag ID, the ID for coding. The next endpoint we're going to hit is the get hashtag by ID. It's pretty much the same as name, but you can also get a hashtag by ID. Up in our endpoints, we're going to define a new endpoint for getting our hashtag data. The format for this endpoint is base URL. We have to pass along our hashtag ID, which we just got. 
and we're going to pass along the same fields, the ID and the name. So let's define our endpoint. Hashtag data endpoint. And we're passing along the hashtag ID. Next, we define our parameters. In this case, we just need our fields and our access token. Then we can hit our make API call with this endpoint and these parameters. Data endpoint data parameters it is a get request and let's dump out our hashtag data so if we go back to hashtags.php run it we get back the ID and the name but we have requested it with the ID of the hashtag and not the name now that we know how to get a hashtag by name by ID we want to get the top post for the hashtag Again, we're going to define another endpoint format. This will be the endpoint format for the top media. To get the top media for a hashtag, the first thing we specify is our hashtag ID. After that, we hit the top media endpoint. Then we pass along the user ID, the account that's requesting the top media for this hashtag. And the fields array contains all the fields we want to get back for the top media posts. In this case, we're going to be requesting all possible fields. We want to get the ID, the caption, children, comment count, like count, media type, URL, and the permalink for each top media that we get back. Again, we start by defining our endpoint. We have our endpoint base URL, hashtag ID, slash top media. Then we specify our parameters for our top media endpoint. We're going to need a user ID, just like for our, our first endpoint we hit. So we can copy this. Our user ID here is coming from our defines file. And then we need all the fields we want to get back, comma separated string of all the fields. And last but not least, our access token. Then we can hit our make API call endpoint and pass along the new endpoint and the new parameters. Now we can dump this out on the page and we can see the top media for the coding hashtag. Go back to our hashtags.php and refresh our page. It's going to think for a little bit, and then it's going to give us back an array of data. Here are the top posts for the coding hashtag. Each post has an ID, caption, light count, media type, media URL, and permalink, just like we requested. So it gives us back the first 25 posts. From there, we can display that on our landing page. That is the top media endpoint. The next endpoint is the recent posts, which is pretty much the same thing, same parameters and everything. You're just specifying a different endpoint. We'll copy our top media endpoint format, and we're going to rename this to recent. And our recent endpoint format is almost exactly the same. Only thing that I think is different is our endpoint. We can pretty much copy all of this from the top media and paste it here for the recent media. We're going to rename this to recent endpoint, and instead of top media, name it recent media. Parameters are the same. We get back our recent posts for the coding hashtag. Make sure we pass along the correct parameters here, our new recent endpoint and our new recent params, and then dump that out just to verify we're getting back the most recent posts from Instagram. Refresh our page. It's going to think a little bit again, and if all goes well, we get back an array of posts. These are the most recent posts for the coding hashtag. And again, each post has all of the requested fields that we asked for. Now that we are able to get all of this data for our coding hashtag, we need to make our web page look pretty. We can get rid of our echo and print our die statements, and we can write some HTML for this coding landing page. I'm going to start out by giving ourselves a page title and displaying ourselves the hashtag that we're searching for, hashtag coding and our ID. And I also put an A tag on there. Click on it and go to our, oh, looks like we didn't type that correctly, Ex explore, explort. So if I change this to an E, 
you should go back to the coding hashtag. There we go. Explore. Spell that correctly. Then it will take us to the hashtag that this page is featuring. After we give the page a title and display the hashtag that we're focusing on, we can go on to display the top posts. For this page, I'm just going to display the very first post, not all of them. You could put a loop over them, but I'm just going to pick the very first one that I get back. Under our top media return, I'm going to say top post. And we're going to set this equal to the return data zero. The data array here contains all of the posts that we got back for the top media response. And the zero specifies only the first one. Now I have one array with my top post in it. Then we're going to display that out here. On our top post, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to display out the media. It could be an image, it could be a video. And that is why we do this if statement right here. We either display out the image tag or the video tag based on what the media type is for the top post. Then we can move on to displaying the post caption. Then we can do the post ID, the media type, and the media URL. And last, we're going to print out the permalink, which is the link to the actual post on Instagram. We have displayed out our top post. We have displayed out the image. We have displayed the caption here. We got the post, the media type, URL, and then the link to the post. However, I don't want to bold everything. We're just going to bold the caption. All right, so now we're going to refresh our page and our top post for coding comes back. This is the top post as of refreshing this page right now on Instagram. We're getting back an image here, caption, ID, media type, URL, and a link to the post by clicking on it. It should take me to this Instagram post on Instagram. We have now displayed our top post for our hashtag coding. Next, we're going to display the most recent post, copy, our section that displays out all of the info on the most recent post. And just like our top post here, we're going to go up here and we're going to only get back one of the recent posts, not all of them. Now in my recent post variable, all I have is one, the very first recent post. Down here I can replace all of my top post variables with my recent post variable. Save that and refresh our page. Underneath our top post, it's going to say recent for coding. So this is the most recent post at the time of refreshing this page for the hashtag coding on Instagram. We got the caption, again, ID, type, URL, and a link to our post on Instagram. The last thing I'm going to display on my page is the endpoint formats along with their raw data back inside of a text area. All I've done down here is I'm just displaying out each of our endpoint formats so we know what the format is and how to hit those endpoints with their correct parameters. And then I have dumped out the response that we got back for each of these endpoints into its own text area. Refreshing our page once more, below our recent media, we now can see each of our endpoints. This is the first endpoint we hit, hashtag search, and we searched by name and then we got back our ID. Next endpoint we looked at was the endpoint where you can specify a hashtag ID and get back the name. Then we hit the top media endpoint, and after that we got back the most recent media for a hashtag ID. And that is how you do a hashtag search using the Instagram Graph API. We got the top post, the most recent post, we got the hashtag name and the hashtag ID, all using the Instagram Graph API hashtag search endpoints. That's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you guys want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.